Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. Once again, someone has allowed their numbers and entitlement to take hold and dominate them, right? Because recently, and I, I, and I, I'm not gonna harp so much on this one particular incident that happened, but there have been plenty of situation in where content creators of insert size here uh, got a little too big for their britches and tried to pull some shit and spin some shit in their favor, and then surprise and didn't work out they would try to flip the script and then like damage control or whatever because it was it's was a weird the other day that i personally dislike for many reasons she decided that because she in a nutshell did not get her art stuff in a timely manner that was applicable and favorable for her that she was gonna make call-out posts against this artist and try to get them fucked up. Not like a, oh, hey, go do this. Uh, it was a call-out post that was missing a lot of context and a lot of detail. You know, the original uh, person involved, the artist, they was like, okay, well, you're threatening me. And you're talking about, oh, well, you're going to do this and you're going to do that. And you're going to fucking tell your followers and everything and everything mind you mind you the motherfucker has 50 almost 60k on twitter not twitch not youtube not tiktok because that's really all they fucking care about number wise is twitter right and lauding this over them and talking about well i'll be charitable and do this today if you give me this and give me that it, it, it's a combination of like fucking blackmail and extortion, low key. The way I see it personally, it's like first of all, who are you? You don't have any rhyme or reason to try to like, like gold some shit out of somebody or hasten a process when none of this would have happened if you just like read the fucking terms of service. Like, literally, all, all of what happened over the last two days on Twitter would not have happened if she had just read the artist's terms of service and then, like, fucking listened and paid attention to shit. It turned into another situation of insert content creator of stupid fucking Twitter size trying to dog out an artist and put them on blast for something that's not worth being put on blast over when they were like 150,000 percent in the wrong from the very fucking beginning and yet another instance of why i say twitter numbers don't matter because on top of them having fucking 50 almost 60k it's pretty obvious that a lot of those accounts are fucking bots because you know normally if someone is pushing almost 100k on like Twitter and their engagements outside of engagement bait posting is reflective of that of someone that has like not even 10 maybe at the at, at the most charitable like 11k if that her engagements on her tweets are not reflective of someone with 50, 60K. This is someone who really primarily cares about Twitter this and big number that. And like they even have the audacity to say that they're a bigger voice in the community. And to that, not only myself, but a lot of other people respond with who, what voice? Legitimately, who are you? What have, what have you done for the community? Or... I'm sorry, community in extreme air quotes. You gotta remember we're talking about English indie VTubers here. 
What have you done for the community? What have you done that is like made yourself a household name in VTuber circles? What have you done collab wise that wasn't you like puffing everyone's feet stink to be on their platform, to be on their show? What have you done that wasn't just extreme corporate VTuber ass kissing just to get recognized? You know, what have you done outside of fucking donating bits or TTS to get someone to respond and then when they get your name wrong, you clip that and then pay someone to make a clip of that. No matter how you slice it, that is textbook extreme clout chaser. And she's tried to deny it and other people that do the same thing or have done similar things can deny it all they want, but that that is textbook. I only care about clout and how I can get big off other people and how I really only give a fuck about people who can benefit me in one way or another because you know part of part of the reason as to why I personally don't like it, that that VTuber is because I met them in person at a convention last year and she was all smiles and cool and happy to meet me and shit and then and you know, she was, she was, and keep in mind, was responsive to my questions, responsive to this, responsive to that. And then she goes, oh, hey, like, what's your name? I'll fucking follow you and stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, cool. It's, it's for child. And I spelled it out. And literally, like, I'm standing right in front of her, watching her type my name in and looking at her phone. And then at the time I had not 500 on Twitter, I don't even think I had 400 and I was still like low 200s on Twitch and she went from all smiles to very obvious and immediate disappointment right in front of me too. And I was like, is something wrong? And then mind you again, I'm standing right there next to her and she said, oh, I, I got an upsetting text while I'm looking at her phone. She got no text. And so like that let me know right then and there. Oh. That's the kind of person you are. I got it. And to further make it even worse, like after that, she just like did not respond to any question I asked or like low key like blow, blew me off and shit. And I was just like, wow, you you acting like you all that in a bag of chips and you're, you, you're a fucking nobody just like I am. Granted, you know, she did have a bigger following than me on Twitch and Twitter. But again, Twitter doesn't fucking matter. Because Twitter's not where content exists at. And the funny part is that I remember tapping into one of her streams before I knew what kind of person she was. And she was talking about doing YouTube this and doing YouTube that and yada yada yada. Wanted to pay an editor, wanted to pay artists and shit. <laughs> anyway, like she may have a lot of people beat on Twitter, but when it comes to like Twitch and YouTube, motherfucker, I have her beat on YouTube. <laughs> But again, like I'm not, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't, I don't do the typical fucking, oh, well this person following me and I want to follow that person and engagement bait. I ain't got time for all that, bro. I ain't got time for it. I, I would rather do things that I can't say on Twitch or YouTube because of terms of service reasons to myself rather than be a filthy fucking clout chaser. Cause that's just that's just not me. I, I I genuinely do not have the time or the energy to dedicate towards doing that. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I am genuinely impressed at the people who can. You are built different in a way that I don't like. <laughs> but you, you go ahead and do that, and then when you realize that all you have at the end of the day is your fragile public image and how you don't really have anything going for yourself and you're fucking hollow inside tough figure it out homie because ain't nobody gonna help you with that and you know after all the crazy shit that was going on and she was like literally catching hell from fucking everybody like like the <laughs> In, in her desperate desperation to spin some shit in her favor and make some shit go her way, she became Twitter's main character for the day. I guess people were posting screenshots from her Discord with her, with how she really felt to her community and whatever. It's pretty much, it's one of those apologies that's like, 
I'm not sorry about what happened. I'm sorry and I'm mad that I got caught. And says so some shit like, oh, well, I'm getting off because it's toxic this and it's toxic that, which is, you know, most people's way of saying because I'm being held accountable for some horrible things that I did to someone, therefore it is toxic and therefore I will exit the situation. She's getting the fuck off Twitter because she single-handedly ruined her public image and that she cannot cope with the fact that she was wrong and that it will never be the same ever again. That's that. That's why she's so fucking like, oh, I'm not using Twitter anymore, it's toxic. It's, no, no. Honey, don't play with yourself like that. Don't do that to yourself. You know, good and goddamn well why you're getting the fuck off Twitter because you can't benefit from it anymore and you likely never will again because you can't you can't shit post and engagement bait your way out of what you single-handedly did to yourself because with your like bajillion failed attempts at damage control and trying to salvage a situation that you started yeah people that numbers on a platform get so so heavily ingrained to their core to where that's all they fucking care about the vtuber that i've been talking about for so long she's not the only one that has a hyper fixation on twitter followings because there have been other people out there who was like oh my god i just hit 10k oh my god i hit 20k oh my god i hit fucking 6k and it's like they care more about that than they do streaming like, I've seen people put more effort and excitement and joy into their Twitter followings rather than hitting YouTube or Twitch or TikTok milestones. Like, you know, I know that these days, for a lot of people, hitting a thousand subscribers or 500 subscribers on YouTube ain't shit for a lot of people. But that's still, like, something to talk about and be happy over. Hell, getting a hundred is pretty neat and stuff like that but because these days people are so heavily attached and hooked on to uh instant gratification when it comes to anything there are plenty a vtuber and not not just vtubers but there are plenty a content creator out there that really only cares about their twitter following and they put more effort and emphasis into that rather than their streams, or their content, or their YouTube videos, or their shorts, or their uh, stream ideas, or something to stand out from the crowd. No, they only care about how many Twitter followers can I get today. It's annoying to see as someone that does really give a fuck about what he does, and I know plenty of people that give a fuck about what they do when it comes to content creation so it's just really irritating to see people put so much effort and emphasis into a platform that does not affect that anyway all in all once again someone let their twitter following get so so too deep into their own fucking head and it was all they cared about and they literally killed their own career pretty much because of that. Is that my problem? Fuck no. But am I going to talk about it? Yes, I am. One, due in part because I, like I said earlier, I personally dislike them. And then two, because it's another example that I can call upon, that I can tell people, hey, this, don't do that. Do not do that, ever, ever.